everyone last class we have learned how to cut fabrics okay in this video i'll be showing you all how to stitch them we have different seams that is used for garment stitching okay let's start with the stitching but uh, before that i want you to be aware or familiar with the machine that we are going to use we are going to use a simple machine but before working on fabric directly i want you to get practice okay on paper so let's take paper okay fold it okay and try to get equal six parts just cut it here and cut six parts ready after cutting your paper okay start marking okay can you see this square okay just imagine you have this six pieces paper cut out ready with you okay 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay in each of this paper you have to start marking let's say i'm marking straight line 3 to 4 lines okay then i want to get square okay don't mark complete square try to get continuous square line then triangle a continuous triangle then uh, you can mark zigzag okay like this then you can get curve lines 3 to 4 curve lines and a spiral why we are doing all these things okay in each of this i will show you how to get needle pulse on the mark line okay this is just for practice so first we'll be starting with the paper okay we'll try to get needle punch on the mark line so i have kept this paper pieces with marking ready for the better understanding okay so suppose these are your markings on each of this marking i'll start taking needle punch okay so arrange your paper like this this is your pressure foot lift this pressure foot like this okay keep this paper start moving your wheel okay and try to get your needle punch on the mark line this we are doing just to get a good practice before you start working on fabric okay Then lift your pressure foot, take your paper out. Okay, so this way you will be getting punch, needle punch on the paper. Okay, similarly continue working on other two lines. When you are working on this square marking, okay, again lift your pressure foot, put your uh, pressure foot down and start working. corner point okay put your needle down okay lift your pressure foot turn your paper okay put it down and just continue okay to so get a continuous straight line when you reach here again at the corner point put your needle down see my needle is down okay turn your paper as per the direction required okay and just slowly smoothly start working and try to get needle punch on the mark line and this way you will continue working on square similarly when you start working on uh, triangle start working on here at, or at this point okay come here when you are reaching here put your needle down turn put your needle down so at each every each and every corner point you have to put your needle down and turn your paper okay if it is a zigzag line similarly you have to start working here continue put your needle down turn down turn okay if it is a curved line this time i'll show you this time you have to move your paper because here you don't have any corner points okay so slowly gradually as per the mark line okay just move your paper yeah. 
Gradually try to reach here without tearing your paper. So be very cautious when you're working on paper. After working, you will see this kind of needle punch, okay, on your paper. So you have to complete all six pieces. This is just for your practice work, okay. Now let's start working on fabric. Okay, I have asked you to cut 20 by 10. So 20 like this and 10 like this. Fold your fabric. Why we are supposed to fold? Always remember stitching happens on two layers of fabric. The purpose of stitching is to join two pieces of fabric. So never stitch on the single layer. Whenever you stitch on the single layer, it is considered as embroidery, not as stitching. Okay, so when stitching, bolte hai, you need to stitch two layers together. Okay, so take 20 by 10 sample, fold it half. Okay and start marking use your scale your tailoring chalk and start marking the way you have marked on paper so six sample six marking okay, like this okay so straight line continuous square spiral okay you go on marking the way you have marked on paper Let's thread the machine. Put your thread on. Pass your thread from this point. Come out here. In each and every machine, we have different setting for threading. is your upper thread for bottom thread you need to use bobbin this is your bobbin and this is your bobbin case okay now in machine also we have two types of machine full shuttle machine and half shuttle machine okay there is a small difference between both the machines parts are different the threading is different okay similarly the bobbin that we use in the machine is different okay in half shuttle you have holes in the bobbin okay and in full shuttle this is flat okay just put your bobbin here pass your thread like this okay open this slider okay and at this point you need to fix your bobbin like this okay when this is done just close this hold your thread in your left hand slowly move your heel Can you see this thread? Okay. The bottom thread, the bobbin thread is out now. Okay. Now take both the threads, pass it from the pressure foot and take it behind. Okay. Put your pressure foot down. Now this machine is ready for stitching purpose. Okay. Let's start stitching. Always remember you should use matching thread for stitching purpose. Very rarely we go for contrast thread. Okay. As per the design. Right now I'm using blue thread on white fabric just to make you all understand the stitching concept okay let's start the stitching okay arrange your fabric arrange your pressure foot and start stitching try to get your needle punch on the marker okay so start working slowly slowly move your wheel one two three four get three to four lines put your needle down okay lift this pressure foot turn your fabric Okay, turn your fabric, put it down and come reverse. Why I am doing this? I am doing this to lock my stitch. 
always remember you need to lock your stitches before you go ahead okay now continue working and come down straight on the mark line when you are reaching here at the end again repeat the process put your needle down turn your fabric okay come down three to four times put your needle down turn you all you have to keep in mind you need to keep your needle down otherwise your fabric will come out okay and just complete the stitch okay once it is done let go okay take your fabric out slowly slowly take it out Side. You need to lock. 
how to lock this side we have already locked now from this side just take one or two threads like this yarns from a fabric okay take turns one two three random turns okay and take your needle out here knotting is done you can use a thread cutter or scissors to cut extra threads which are here and this side is ready okay but you need to maintain the distance you can't just jump from one stitch to another okay so you need to mention if it is point five so make sure everywhere you have point five distance okay it should look like machine stitch clear okay now suppose you want to go for circular or square on the same line you will go on doing this running stitch those who don't have machine at home others those who have machines at home you will continue working with this wherever you are starting you will lock wherever you are ending you will lock for example so for example now this is your fabric right okay so when you are starting so suppose i'm starting here as i shown in the video okay lock here continue put your needle down turn put your needle down turn 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 when you reach at the end here you will have to lock similarly if it is a spiral lock here continue working and when you reach at the end you need to lock similar with the um uh, triangle okay you need to lock continue and lock if it is zigzag lock lock again sec for second line lock and at the end lock here for spiral lock here continue lock lock here continue and lock so this way you have to complete paper marking that means with needle punch and your fabric with a contrast thread specifically i am asking you to use contrast thread because this is just for a practice that i am giving you okay others basic seams and other stitching that i'll be telling you all to use matching thread as for the fabric that you are using